studio is a buzz with Laura Queso's new hairstyle. Stephanie oh, Haney yes. in now for Pop Break. She commented mm -hmm. that she likes it, and I do as well. Two thumbs up. It looks, it looks fetching. Thanks, Steph. Stephanie said. Fetching. Fetching. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you're here. You have a lot of gossip. Sorry. A lot of gossip about Hollywood, right? I do, yes. And honestly, it's a bit of a tough day in entertainment news, and there are a lot of injuries to report about. So first up, we are learning more about who may or may not be held responsible for a tragic death on the set of a major production. Police have released video from the set of the film Rust, including the moments right after the fatal shooting of cinematographer Haleen Hutchins by actor Alec Baldwin on October 21st. Now, we're not showing that video here, but you can see it on WKYC.com. And police now say that a decision on whether to file criminal charges will have to wait on the results of future forensic work. Helena, who was 42, was shot while Baldwin was rehearsing with what he believed to be a safe gun. That other guy packs a punch. And he, he's like, I feel like I got that. I feel like I went 12 rounds with Tyson. Um, now, at a Supernatural fan event in New Jersey, star Jensen Ackles told fans that his co-star Jared Padalecki is lucky to be alive after a terrible car accident. Now, thankfully, no one died, and Jared told Jensen to send his love and to say he was sorry he couldn't be there. Jensen said he saw the car, and he is shocked but happy that Jared, who was not driving, is recovering now at home. Now here's the warning. This next photo is a little yucky because Carrie Elwes, who played Wesley in The Princess Bride, says he's recovering well after being bit by a rattlesnake. He made a joke that no, he was not bit by an R-O-U-S. Wesley, what about the R-O-U-S's? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <laughs> But by the looks of that finger, you could have fooled us. There it is right there, yeah. Carrie thanked Malibu Urgent Care and the LA County Fire Department and the people at Ronald, Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center for taking good care of him. Ooh, Terrible. tough look there. Okay, now we have some breaking news today because Megan Fox is on the cover of Glamour Magazine and she is confirming that yes, she and Machine Gun Kelly do drink each other's blood, but here's what she said, Laura and Jay. It's not in goblets like you would think on Game of Thrones and for her, it's just a few drops as a ritual, and it's very controlled. But MGK, she says, can be a little more chaotic. Yeah, and here is even something more surprising. We've heard the blood thing, but she also said that she believes she manifested MGK, which is when you speak something into yeah. existence, because she's four years older than him, and she started manifesting four years ago. Or at four years old, oh. I should say. And I have to I have to just wonder, imagine someone taking credit for your actual existence. I wonder how that plays out at home. Well, I can tell you this, in arguments, you know, she drops the uh, occasional wall. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be here. So, oh, interesting. I now mean, we that know is why. interesting. Laura, I, I was almost floored at the ease in which Stephanie just rolled that bit of information out. <laughs> well, of course they drink each other's blood, but... I know. Now, what do you think about that? I mean, we no. know about no. it, you know? So we did, we have heard about that before, I and I told this. I hadn't. That was news to me. Okay. He's not up to speed on it. But the, that's going to be a hard no for me. I, I love think, my wife, but I'm not drinking her blood. I think love can make you do crazy things. <laughs> okay, Will Smith. Said Will yes. Smith. Yeah. I told this to Jay earlier. Listen, Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton walked so that MGK and Megan Fox could run. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're taking weird to a whole new level. Steph, thank you so much. We appreciate you.